Hey everyone, it's Edie here and I wanted to come in today to share with you how I automatically share my YouTube videos to my social media accounts. Now the way that I do this is I use my YouTube RSS feed and I add that to my social media management tool which happens to be Socialbee. So what I'll do is I'm going to walk you through exactly what you need to do. It should work the same way on all social media management tools, but the example obviously that I'm going to use with you is working with mine, which is Social Bee. So I'm on my YouTube channel right now. And this first thing I'm going to do is right click the home page and go down to view page source. When that page opens up, I'm going to hit command F because I'm on a PC, but I believe it's um, sorry, I'm hitting control F because I'm on a PC, but I believe it's command F if you're on a Mac and I'm going to type in feeds. And once you've located it, you want to highlight as much of it. Now I have more of it than I would like. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to copy this. And I am going to, I'm just making sure that I have the right, okay, everything looks good. I just wanted to double check that I had it. And now I'm going to go over to Social B and I'm going to go to content. If you have a Social B account, you can follow along. But again, I'm pretty sure on Hootsuite or Buffer, you would probably look for the same things. And then I'm going to select RSS. And if I did not start or create one yet all I need to do is come over here to add RSS and then here I'm going to paste my RSS URL and then you select fetch so that it can pull whatever the new content is that you have on your channel over and then from there you want to select your category you want to decide whether you want your post coming in at the top of the queue or at the bottom of the queue. And then if you need to add any sort of attributions, this is coming in from my channel, so I probably would not. And you definitely want to select what um, profiles you want this to go to. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in one of mine that I actually already have, which is here. So these are my YouTube videos and I am going to edit that so that you can see what it looks like. And so this is typically what um, it looks like after I've already created it. In fact, let me go back to RSS so that you can see what it looks like from this perspective. So you see that my RSS URL is here. These are the three most recent posts that are going to be posted to my social media accounts. I've selected my category, which is called my YouTube videos. And then I've selected that I want my posts to be added to the bottom of the queue. And then I've added that I'm going to give obviously attribution to my YouTube channel. And then I've added just one um, hashtag. It's totally up to you how many you want to add here. And it's up to you whether you even want to give yourself any sort of attrib attribution um, for these videos. It's totally up to you. Um, then I select what profiles I want this to go to. So it's going only to LinkedIn. So I've selected my, my personal and my business. And then you want to come over here to advanced and you can select whether you want to have your RSS post title. So that's what's really here. This is the title from YouTube. So that's all that I've requested. Or you can have the RSS post description or you can have no text and only a link preview. So it's totally up to you what you want. I prefer to just have the title. Then from here, I will select how many times do I want this particular post to air or publish before it retires. So after three times, it's gonna retire. You can choose a number of days. So you can say after a week, after a month, after three months, it's totally up to you. And then any other um, specific things that you would like to have happen. Now for me in this particular RSS feed, I usually have this selected as a draft. So when they come in, I do not want them to automatically post. And the reason why I don't want them to automatically post is because I want more information to be added to my post before it actually goes to the social media platform. So this is how it typically will come in. And then I'll go back to categories. 
so that you can see what my posts look like. So when it comes in here, it's usually going to say draft and we'll have just the title, just like what you just saw in the previous screen. In this particular example, I replaced just that title with my actual text that I want to have describe my post. So what I'll sometimes do is, especially since I have them going to two different accounts, more often than not, what I've done in the past is I'll keep, I'll actually create two completely different worded posts and one will go to my personal and one will go to my business. I also have the flexibility of coming back in here, say three weeks from now and completely changing the text. So I can scroll down to content that has already posted and decide that I want to edit this and completely redo the text so that it's a little bit more fresh once it um, gets published a second time or a third time, whatever the iteration happens to be. So once I've added my updated content to this particular video, I then will select approve and then save. And this I can either share immediately once I've done that, or I can wait for it to appear in its queue whenever that could be a week from now, because in, I think most, again, I'm not um, an expert on every single social media management tool, but there is a way for you to create a calendar. And so my calendar may have my YouTube videos only publishing once a week. So if I have 34 videos in there, it might take a while for that one video to repeat three times. It might take, you know, a couple of months or three months before that video gets repeated. So I have the flexibility to update and change the text in that video as often as I like in that time frame that it's going to be able to be published multiple times. So I just wanted to come in and share that with you. I love creating these types of videos where I'm able to share with you tools that I use to either create my videos, market my videos, or even manage my videos. So if you have any questions about video creation, video marketing, or video management tools that you would either, that you've either seen me create or that you would like to see me create, please post them in the comments below and I will certainly respond to you and I'll create those videos as soon as I can. So happy creating and until I see you in the next video, take care.